Hi, everyone. I hope everyone can hear OK. Um, it's a pleasure to have the stage uh, for 10 minutes or so. Um, and uh, the, in line with the scaling theme, I won't belabor lots of financial metrics or headcount or users, but I'll touch on some scaling themes which are directly relevant to our, our industry. So the scaling of the physics of our opportunity, the technology solution, as well as the channels to market. So there's some really interesting scaling challenge uh, challenges in growing a technology business in the energy sector, and I'll touch on some of those today. So, so first of all, you know, what's in a name? Origami, it's a bit funny, it's a bit Japanese. You know, do we spend all of our time folding paper with our hands? You know, no, but we do spend all of our time folding energy shapes with software, and that's where a lot of the creativity and harnessing the complexity comes from. So to, to kind of very long story short, you know, energy has been really boring for about 100 years. And now it's super exciting. Uh, it's super exciting for a couple of reasons. Um, in, the, in the bad old days, uh, there used to be a tiny handful of very, very large power assets that people used to control with a telephone and a big wheel or a lever, right? So, so in that world, of a tiny number of very, very large things, you don't really need to think about scalability, complexity, technology. You know, dumb is fine, right? But if you move from a world where you've got 20 power stations to a world where you've got 20 million power stations, then that's a whole different ball game, right? That's when you need to harness the power of technology to make sense of all that. So simultaneously with the technology boom, that we're all now aware of globally, there's been a monumental shift in the energy sector. In particular, there's been an explosion in the number of things, the number of solar panels, batteries, pumps, loads. That number is just skyrocketing. And also the diversity of things in the energy sector is also taking off. So suddenly, you've got huge numbers of things and a diversity of things that is just totally impossible to cope with that with human beings and telephones. It just doesn't work. So you need to hit it with a technology sledgehammer. And in addition, the regulators around the world have chopped up the markets into more competitive landscapes. In other words, the grid operators compete with power traders who compete with utilities, who compete with renewables companies. So this world has become physically a lot more complicated, but also the market structures have fragmented as well. So for those reasons, we're standing on the shoulders of giants technologically to really hammer the use case in energy. In particular, basically we convert the physics of energy into economics of trading. And that means you need to really care about how you parameterize the behavior of an engine, of a battery, of a pump. You really need to understand the physics of how stuff in the real world actually works. And then, if you're clever, and we hope we are, is you can turn that into economically tradable positions that different market actors can take advantage of. Whether you're a grid operator trying to manage physical wires and make sure stuff doesn't blow up, whether you're a trader chasing volatility to make money in your, in your bonus, whether you're a utility company trying to balance your books between what you buy and what you sell, you know, that is hideously complicated in today's world. So basically, we create that layer that transforms the physics of energy into the economics that traders can trade. And the scaling challenges I want to highlight are to do with the physics, like I've talked about. Managing 20 things, no big deal. Managing 20 million things in real time to provide that utility value to many different actors, all of which are competing every second of the day, you know, good luck. So you need to take an approach to, to abstract away that complexity to make it all look the same. Now, luckily, every electron in the world is exactly the same. So you, it, it lends itself to abstraction technologically. You can turn the physics of an engine or a battery or a pump into a set of parameters that you can then harness the mathematics to deal with that. So 
abstraction technologically is absolutely critical to scaling in the energy sector. The second big thing you need to do is to get access to vast amounts of scale without an army of people. Certainly that's possible because there are already players out there, a couple of them are our customers, that have huge, enormous global footprints. So for example, uh, about a year ago, we signed a deal with a company called Agreco. They're the largest on-site power company in the world. Their engines, their batteries, their, their heaters and coolers um, are in every country in the planet. And they needed a digital layer to make sense of all that and to make money from it. So enter Origami. So there's a way of scaling by partnering with companies that have these enormous physical footprints and then provide a route to market, a marketplace in every country in which they operate to the trader, the network operator, the utility that happens to operate in Portugal, the UK, China, Japan, Australia, the US, you name it. So abstraction of the complexity technologically is absolutely key. Partnering with channels to market that already have enormous scale is another tactic. And I guess the, the other one that I wanted to mention is how you really need to harness the kind of complexity to your advantage. Historically, completely isolated customers are now beginning to interact in ways that were never true in the past. So if you look at the problem in terms of its physics, its technology, its market access, you can scale enormously quickly, but it takes a while to get going. So this kind of high growth business took its time to lay those foundations, and now we're going like a rocket, but it takes time. So I guess what I'd just like to leave you with is some thoughts that if you can transform the complexity in this massive shift towards this highly renewable future, and you can apply the kind of machines to turn that into economics that traders can make money from, and you find a market mechanism that these different market actors can kind of transact with each other, suddenly you can scale very quickly. But you need to do your homework to figure that out. And for us, this was a three or four year journey to get to the point where now we can credibly sign mega deals, each of which are worth tens of millions of dollars with these blue chip giants. And that's the, uh, that's the scaling challenge which we've harnessed at Origami Energy, turning the physics of energy into the economics of trading. Thank you very much.